Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, guys, buckle up because uh, we are about to see what awaits Libra Sun, Moon and Rising through the eyes of Taro for the week, August 12th to August 18th, 2019. And uh, just uh, give me a couple of seconds here to make the shuffling because there are people disputing my readings. Should I not shuffle in front of camera? That's perfectly all right and fine with me, you know, but it's just to get out as much as I can, the controversy aside, and, uh, you know, kind of like jump into the reading straight away here. I will give those people the satisfaction seeing me doing those riffle fancy shuffles in front of the camera, you know. I hate that I cannot do the faro shuffle because we, we, I'm going to ruin my cards pretty quickly if I try to do it. Basically, what the faro shuffle is, you split the deck in half like that and you make that kind of a... Uh, that kind of a shuffle one into another. It works very well with bicycle cards, all right? Bic bicycle deck of cards, uh, playing cards, and it's it's really nice and fancy, you know, and it's kind of evenly, evenly uh, distributes the cards, and it's a very good shuffling, but unfortunately, it's gonna ruin every tarot deck because they are not made of the air cushion finish paper. Anyway, so that being said, going into the reading here, the first card which uh, represents Libra's topic for the week, we do have the world card, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges. Now it does look like that you're gonna have a really rough time with a specific person, it's because uh, for a couple of reasons really, I cannot know what everybody is going through into their life, but let's say that um, you will want to finalize a thing or rather like you will want to close a chapter of your life and now that person, it's not that they're going to give you a hard time to close it because they don't want to see you to, to be successful, all right? But it's because they will not going to be happy of how you're closing it, let's say, or the conditions under you are closing them. Why? It is because the Queen of Wands, it's a person who very well know what you are capable of. And it's kind of like when you divulge that information to the Queen of Wands, let's say your mother, all right? Uh, you say, mom, I, I want to open up a business and I need certain funds, all right? And I plan to do this, this and this. And she says, what? Are you out of your mind? You can, why are you settling for so little when you can go so high, all right? So you, your capabilities in, are here and why you should settle over here? It's, it just doesn't make any sense. So... <clears throat> That's the point of uh, of this week. It does look like that there will be a lot of important um, sharing of an information, I would say, all right? It's not like even impression here, but it's more like a, a person making you become more and more aware of what your true capabilities are. Now, you need to know that the Queen of Wands is rather very harsh person. It means that she ain't gonna go easy on you. She, it, it could be he as well, all right? That, that person ain't gonna go easy on you for the solo purpose of that they don't wanna waste any time. Uh, it's because the more milder they present that information to you that you are better you know it's um 
and uh, the the less chance they they kind of sense they have of you listening okay so it's it's more like they're going to approach these uh, sharing of an information with a very aggressive fashion probably they're gonna mock at you probably they're, they're gonna try to embarrass you as well not in front of the public but in front of uh, in front of yourself it's not different because right now I am kind of like watching the old seasons of the uh, house kitchen all right and what uh, mr. Ramsey does there he he kind of like destroys these people why for the solo purpose that these people get better into cooking all right that's the point so um, that being said such kind of a person you are gonna go through this week so let's say that you signed for the house kitchen well yeah the, the, the world here says that you are a good cook okay and you pretty much steal the deal but the Gordon is gonna give you the hell out of it I mean it's not gonna go easy on you man it's it that's it that is in case it's your case but I hope you get what I mean here now the next one is going to be the six of wands which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week and the last one here it is we do have the three of wands which stands for the guidance and it is exactly what I was talking about if you are with Chaos Kitchen. Everything of it, it's for the solo purpose of you become better. It's because right now you think you are on the top of the world, you're wrong. You are just on a stepping stone, you are on a milestone, all right? You can be so much better, you can be so much more efficient for example you are in a relationship with someone and you settle for just you know seeing each other for a couple of days a week and you're gonna be confronted from it for it not from the person itself but for example from your mother from their mother or from a mutual friend trying to knock into your head why you're doing it since you can be so much more happier or so much more you know efficient into it you can pull so much more from it and it's for the solo purpose that you first of all be, realize that you are sitting on an establishing on an established pattern so right you have done very well laying down your foundations libra second of all you need to do whatever it's needed to consolidate those patterns meaning you shouldn't leave any leaks in there and lastly to challenge yourself to believe that you do deserve more because yeah this is closing up a chapter but the next one is gonna step on this one and is going to be an, an improvement is gonna be a growth than something completely different so before we scrutinize the reading card by card guys let's uh, run the cards one more time uh, we do have the world as a general topic of the week, followed by the Queen of Wands, which stands for the challenge here. Afterwards, it is the Six of Wands, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Three of Wands, which is a um, guidance. So the world card pretty much speaks for itself. Everybody who just bought themselves a tarot cards and run through the uh, every card, the first impression that the world means completion it's it's as simple as that so you are to reach a, a certain final stage of a thing of a uh, endeavor challenge um, uh, aim goal dream you name it throughout this week just so you to find out that that is not the end not at all that is just like i said another chapter in your life closed and with all these chapters, what one does, well, collects experience, uses them as an asset and all these kind of stuff. On top of that, the world has a little bit of a, uh, a very, how do you say it, a spicy meaning, especially if it is the very first and primal card uh, in the reading. It does, it does come from the veil here, right? That falls from the body, from the body of the woman. First of all, what this is as a symbolism, right? The naked body of the of the woman represents the uh, the innocence in the openness, the sincerity of how one faces the future. The the naked woman is seen in the star card as well, which represents the openness and the innocence of how one faces the new um, uh, the the ending of an era of a turmoil and the new opening of one to chase their dream. Right, so. 
this week, you are to understand that the world isn't against you, okay? If, if it felt that way, it is because you made it to feel that way. Additionally to that, the veil dropping of the body of the woman represents the drop off or the, the bringing down a castle of, 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 of secrecy and of, um, it's not vagueness, but let's say of, um, yeah, it's secrecy, I would say secrecy, which means that you are to become with much more profound and deep understanding what should be your next move, okay? Because the world, as it, as it signifies a the very final attempt, the peak of experience, it's not the peak of experience, but let's say the closure of an experience and finalization of one's goal soon after a new perspective emerges and you have to be open for it because the life doesn't end here. The uh, uh, accompanied card is the page of wands formation. It is a um, passive neutrals. So with the page, you don't have to face this one alone. That, that's the whole point of, uh, of these two cards coming up together. All right, you definitely have to uh, take advantage of the good fortune that others are offering to you or uh, the advice that others off are offering to you, excuse me, guys, you know, or the means or the help or anybody or anything like that. You don't have to be proud about it. All right. Um, because where, where did I read that? It's like a, um, nobody su succeeded because they were on their own. If you look at all of the, all these successful people in this world, they succeeded because they had connections, because they had friends, because they had support and it is what you need and you are going to have it. Where? In the challenge, right? In the challenge itself, we do have the queen of wands, which is a, a person. It could be a man, it could be a woman, but the thing with the Queen of Wands is that this person have a, a very good sense of the knack of life and additionally good business sense, or it's not even accurate to say business sense, it's more like to say sense into the, uh, how the things work into one situation. Now, you have to uh, make a, a pretty much of a discernment here in between the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, all right? <clears throat> now, the Queen of Wands knows how the thing works because the Queen of Wands sees potential in it, okay? It, it just sees what is going to come out of it. While the Queen of Swords knows how the things work because she uh, faced them back in the days and she failed. All right, and that's why she has that experience into it and know what she has to do. So here it's a little bit more risky, okay? But the thing is that the Queen of Wands sees you for what you truly are and sees you how you are underestimating yourself. It's, it's, it's despicable even to speak about it. I mean, it's going to be really, really pissed off about it. The accompanied card here is going to be the uh, the Five of Swords. And like I said, it's she, this person ain't going to go easy on you at all. I mean, it's it's like you are going to feel that you are bullied, that you are uh, bruised. And it, it's, it's, it's like a, uh, that you do have an, an enemy in the face of this person. While well, this person, the only thing that they want to do is what? Extend your capabilities or the belief into your own personal capabilities, if I may express it that way with the Five of Swords. Because here the Five of Swords does represent knowing where your limits are. And while the Queen of so the Queen of Wands, excuse me, knows where your limits are, do you know them? It's 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 the question. And uh yeah, she could be a, a fearsome enemy, especially with these two cards. But not this day, guys. Not this day because of the next two cards, all right? Otherwise, if, for example, here we did have like a, I don't know, maybe three of swords or uh, if we did have a four of pentacles and all these kind of uh, cards that's, uh, well, it's a different kind of cards, but not with the six of swords, then we did have an enemy there, all right? But this, uh, this, this woman here with the six of wands as a positive aspect or a man, you know, the person, I would say, uh, I, it recognizes you, all right? It, it is truly stunned of your achievements. It's, it's like, it's, it's petrified. You couldn't believe, she couldn't believe 
that you could have you have so much potential and found it and you are willing not to found it at all it's it's just it's just preposterous in our eyes so uh the six of uh ones here as i would say it does represent a stepping stone a milestone you know a, a strong achievement but the job isn't done yet the strongest interpretation in your case, Libra, it's a, a helping hand comes around, okay? Someone who is going to save the day. Not because the day is going to be a failure, but because the day could be so much more brighter. And then the next one is going to be the Four of Pentacles, but it's a circumstantial card, all right? So the formation, it is a uh, active neutrals that we do have. And you have to trust her. I mean, uh, uh, the Four of Pentacles is where one is way too defensive, trying to establish a, a certain future for oneself, you know, holding on to their position. But as a neutral to the... Uh, <clears throat> to the six of wands it plays out like that uh these people who for example into the action movies where um the protagonist kind of face a, a neutral pers uh, personage where the neutral personage does not know the protagonist and the protagonist kind of extend their hands and say trust me you can come with me you're gonna be safe all right it's, it is that kind of a thing i mean you 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 will have to Put some faith into this person. And the last card here that we do have, it is the guidance. So it's what I said at the start of the reading. It is all about you challenging yourself, which additionally contributes here for stepping out of your comfort zone, allowing to assume the unassumable, if I may express myself um, that way, because the Tree of Wands here speaks about you challenging yourself to go for more. Simple, it's simple was that no different than this person here who is preparing to go and conquer new shores holding the wand of power wand is the ones are always a symbol of power and the accompanied card is going to be the ten of pentacles so another active neutral it is that we do have well uh, it, it's normal with these cards you may feel a little bit overwhelmed in and uh, how how do you say it in english and i uh, and with a, a lack of uh, of uh, belief into personal capabilities a little bit and on top of that these cards could point as well <clears throat> that you may feel that you're going to get attached way too much to this to this person queen of wands okay like for example if that's a person who offers you a job and it's because they recognize how much you can do but you kind of like a doubtful of it, it that person offers you a job and you say, wait a minute, I'm going to start the job, but am I capable of you know, pulling it through? Well, that person believes in you. Why don't you believe in yourself for a change? Okay. So that being said, uh, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading uh, for uh, August 12th to August 18th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you like it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.